This place has never been rated before, and now I get to decide their fate. Because once I submit a review, that will be their Google ranking. Forever. Have you ever wondered why places have no reviews? Did the place kidnap them? Did the place kill them? Well, I found six places with no reviews at all. One of which nearly killed me, and the other one, you'll see soon. And now, we're here. And this is probably the sketchiest restaurant I've ever seen. It has no reviews on Google, and there's a guy with a knife around back. I'm just kidding, that was another joke. Let's head inside. I've heard of places like this having weasels, measles, and more. But I actually asked people around here, and they said that was just lore. So I worked up the courage and walked in the door. And the place I have to be going to is a seafood restaurant, and I hate seafood. So I thought, why not order the most exotic thing on the menu? And boy, do I regret this. So this is what you get for a zero star seafood place. I never thought this day would come. Oh my god. That's spicy too. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that actually wasn't half bad. After indulging in that meal, I have to give it a measly one star. It was not good whatsoever and I hated it. So it turns out I'm actually allergic to seafood. So now we're hooked up to this. This is why you do not try zero star seafood. But believe it or not, this isn't the worst thing that I'm gonna endure over the next couple days. Ah! It only gets worse. Starting with our next place. And I could not believe it when I saw that this had no reviews on Google at all. I mean, look at this. Look at this park. It's one of the nicest parks I've ever seen. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Stuff like this just reminds me of my childhood and kids. I know this isn't that interesting. I was joking. I was making the best of it. But trust me, it only gets better from here. I'm rating that zero star! After the fill at the park, there was only one place fit to restart. And it was there where we finally began our mark. This place also has zero reviews, and I was pretty skeptical when I saw it. It's Busy Beehive! Busy Beehive is a daycare service known for its outstanding interior and flamboyant childcare. And with zero reviews on Google, everything I just mentioned was a lie. No one actually knows what happens inside of here, but I will figure it out. In mere minutes, I'm gonna walk inside with this GoPro and record every single thing I can. Okay, I'm not actually gonna go inside there here. Let's go. Leave. Oh, don't break the camera. That's enough of the jokes. We're moving on to the next one, and this one is actually going to be... Uh, just wait. I'm rating this one zero stars. So we just made it to our next target, which would have been one of the best yet. This is what was supposed to be here. Does that look like that? But regardless of this, this place is rated zero stars. So I will attempt to break inside and find out what the buzz is about. So this is the proper address, but it's locked. I guess we know the reason why this place is rated zero stars. It doesn't even exist. But just as we were about to leave. Go, go now. I had a realization. Okay, turns out we were at the wrong place. That place was down there. The real gym is right here, quite literally. And just as I was about to make my grand entry. It's locked. I don't get it. Why me? Show yourself. And show themselves they did. Oh. What's up? Hey, are you guys doing memberships right now? Did you guys message the page? No. And after hours of deliberating, I finally cracked them. If you want, I'll show you. I'll right. give you a show. Right now? Yeah. And we were finally inside. All right, here's the common area. Nobody that goes here steals shit. Okay, like, good. It's a very, very good community here. Yeah. What if I stole something? We have cameras. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'd never do that. I'm just joking. <laughs> so this is like where all the guys train, or not, no, sorry. Wow, it's a, this is amazing. My newfound friend did me the honor of showing me around his gym. And I told him it was amazing, because if I said anything else, I was afraid he'd have his way with me. And with that being said, I thanked him and got out of there as soon as possible. Okay, so I'm rating that one star. That shit was ass. But we finally put an end to the conspiracy. Hit It Fitness does not exist, and that place died! After all these stressful encounters, I needed a place to relax. A place that lasts for hours and hopefully won't break my back. I'm talking about a massage parlor. I'm getting a massage. It seems as though this place is only open on Monday. And as if that wasn't creepy enough. There is no picture of their building on here. Who knows if this place even exists? Will I be kidnapped? Will I be killed? Will I die? I was just about to say that! And you best believe I will get to the bottom of this. So I decided to call them. Now you've reached out to Van Dyke. Leave your name and number and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hmm. 
very suspicious. And since I was unable to locate this place, I tried calling four other massage parlors, all with your reviews, and every single one didn't answer. Thanks for calling in by light. Please record your message. Thank you for calling for the ah! Well, all except for one. Definitely has a nice curb appeal. This took way too long to set up, but we're finally here. This place is allowing me to film and it's rated zero stars. And let me just mention, I've never had a massage ever in my life, so I have no idea what to expect inside here. Are happy endings true? Are they gonna choke me? You'll find out in a second. As she made me lay very strange upon the table, I was very weary on how this would end. Oh, I was, you guys got the heated bed and everything. So this is your first time getting a massage? It is, yes. And in honor of my first time, enjoy this peaceful collage. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Uh, ah, there we are. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay. And yes, I laid on that table for 15 more minutes, and I enjoyed every single second of it. What just happened? For a zero star spa, that was amazing. I've never got this done before, and I'm kind of scared. But alas, there is one more place that we shall not pass. With a person so mystic, so badass, she might just give me the pass. It's a psychic, I'm going to a psychic. So you're gonna lay on my table. If you want a blanket, I'll cozy you up with a blanket. If you don't, then you don't have to have one. Like a cuddling thing or? No, like you oh, just- Oh, okay, 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 sorry. <laughs> We're not cuddling. Okay, okay yeah. No, no. <laughs> I'm not even gonna touch you. Okay, okay. <laughs> I get paid extra for touching. Not okay, okay. <laughs> okay. How much extra? No. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I am just gonna go into your energy and what I do is she went on to explain the procedure and how she's gonna pull and twist my energy and possibly even predict my future. So once again, I laid upon the table and prayed for the best. Will I feel anything during this or? You may feel kind of a tingling sensation. You may sense my, can you feel that? Oh, I feel it with, yeah, I do. <laughs> like with the third eye or third sense or whatever it is. Yeah, you just might have sensations on your body. Ooh, okay. Like I'm touching you, but sometimes I close my eyes and mm -hmm. stuff happens. Ooh, what kind of stuff are we talking about? Like I, t I, I brush you off. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask you to just close your eyes okay. and take some deep breaths. So like in through your nose, right into your belly, and then out through your mouth. And she started by doing some weird grinder technique that really aroused your ears. It does feel almost like a tingly feeling. Yeah. Like you're seeing daisies grow in the field. I love that. Blowing through the wind. Is it reading good or is it reading bad? Or Never bad. What's the consensus? <laughs> People are always looking for good and bad. Sometimes things are just, they just are. They just are good or they just are bad? And as she tickled my mind, I finally got the courage to pop the question. Would you consider yourself a psychic? Actually, it's one of my other side gigs. Really? So like, do you like predict the future? Or? Yes, I can predict the future. You can. And after 12 more minutes of mind altering Kanja, she hit the grinder again and it was over. So there you go, sir. It's over? We cracked a few more jokes, and then it was finally time to release all my energy. Move the energy out of you however you feel called to. So if you want to like rawr, like rawr, do it. You've got to ah! Well, thank you once again. Thank you. I appreciate it. And even though we've been through so much shit this episode, it was amazing to end it on a high note.